so let's co let's continue with the second objective so the second objective is how to describe the structure of solids liquids and gases in terms of particle separation arrangement and types of motion so when we say uh, a structure of solids liquid and gases we've seen solid liquid and gases up over there using water as an example but what about the particles that come together to give us the liquid to give us the solid to give all the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the gas how do they actually arrange so want to see how how are their particles when i say their particles i'm talking about the particles of solid liquid and gases how are the particles arranged so we're going down to the atomic level of those uh, states of matter so let's take solid again let's look at solid so this is how solid actually look when you look at it it is how solid look uh, this is just an example anyway that is eyes you can solid can assume another form it may not be in this shape it can be in different shape we just know that they uh, solids actually have a different uh, definite shape so if you go down to uh, the atomic uh, level this is just like as I said it is a real structure structure of uh, of ice which is a solid so if it goes down to atomic level how does the particle how are the particles in a uh, solid how are they arranged so this is how they are arranged they are arranged in uh, if you look at it you will see that the arrangement is just like uh, in a fixed pattern or we call it a uh, lattice a fixed pattern go this way goes goes again goes and there and this this part of it, if you look at this layer this layer touches the next layer and this one touches the next layer all the layers they are touching the layers of particles they are touching uh, one another so we call this one we call it regular arrangements we call it regular regular arrangements so if a substance is arranged or if particles of particle or ions or yeah of substances if they are arranged in a regular pattern we call that uh, pattern we call it a uh, lattice lattice so so it means a solid they are they are in lattice form the form the, the particles in solid they form something like a, what we call lattice that is they are arranged in uh, a regular pattern okay uh, so and I said you know this layer touches this layer the, uh, I mean the first layer touches the next layer so it's not just an ordinary touching what made the first layer this layer to touch the next layer is a force we call it uh, uh, a force of attraction so it's a force that holds them together that is why when you put ice when you put uh, any solid particle just put it anywhere all the solid particles we are seeing our solid substances we can lay our an, hands on or we can see they don't just break down anyhow because those particles are linked they are linked together and they are held together by strong forces so that is why they don't leave their position so what do they do they don't leave their position they are held together by strong forces but they are doing something what are they doing they are vibrating those particles are vibrating they don't move around but the type of movement in the particles of solid is vibration so those particles are 
vibrating just a tiny vibration anyway that we cannot even detect easily so it's a tiny vibration so the particles of a solid they are arranged in regular pattern and uh, they are held together if i put it if i summarize this i say particles uh, those particles are arranged in a regular regular pattern called lattice and also the second one you can see those particles are held held together by a strong by strong forces of attraction and the last one is that uh, the particles those particles are vibrating they are vibrating so those are the property the properties of uh, particles of solid substances what about the structure of liquid substances and uh, it is a liquid again there is a cup of water we can see water in the glass cup how are the particles arranged actually this is how they are arranged this is how the particles are arranged. you can see it is is similar to particles of solid actually but we can see that uh, these are not touching each other you can see there's a space here there are spaces within those uh, particles from a particle to another particle we have some spaces there so that what make water to be a uh, uh, liquid to be different from a uh, solid so the particles can move they can move about within that little space it, it makes them to be able to move around so it means them can move within that space which can move within this space can move within that space so the particles of solid can move we, can, we will say within a restricted space so you can move past past each other and they can move about or slide past each other the particles of a solid you say move can move about just within a, a little space we can see the space and they can also slide past each other can slide past each other yeah although they are still uh, close together but they are not lattice because of the space so they don't form lattice this is not regular arrangement you can see if I draw this line this this one goes this way this one goes this way this is like this so this is not a regular arrangement so uh, liquid don't form lattice yeah what about the force of attraction they also have force of attraction that hold them together but that force is weak we'll say a weak force of attraction a weak force of attraction so that's why water can pour easily because the force of attraction that that is holding the particles together is not that strong it's not as strong that as that we find in uh, solid particles so so let's look at uh, the third state of matter with uh, gas let's look at the structure of a gas particle of course this is gas again for P let's have it here yeah so this is a hot kettle and uh, there is gas coming out from the, uh, the mouth of the kettle there so if you go down to the atomic level we want to look at the particles of, uh, of a gas or of gases how do they look the particles are like this oh you can see the difference difference is vivid actually you can see they have uh, more spaces the particles in gases they are far apart 
this is far look at this it's very far from this one is far from this far from this so they are far apart far apart that's one so if they are far apart it means they are they have enough spaces to move so they can move about very quickly because we have enough spaces just like you there are three of you in a big hall or five of you in a big in a big hall you can you have a space you have opportunity to run around the way you want yeah you can run around the, the way but if they are just uh, like seven of you confined in a very small room just like that you'll just be like solid you'll not be able to move so that's the way it is so they have enough space for them to move around so we say they are far apart and they move very quickly they move very quickly they move very quickly so what about force of attraction uh, if they can move around easily and, and quickly it means there is no force of attraction nothing is holding the particles of gases together nothing no force of attraction yeah there's nothing like forces of attraction but there's another thing they have they move around uh, it's just like they are blind the particles of, uh, of 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 gases they are blind so if this all move around and just move to this place you will know that another particle is around it just collide just hit the particle this one will hit this particle this one can hit so they can just hit each other any way they want because uh, it's like they are blind so the particles they collide with each other collide with each other it's not about collision with each other not only about that if, if you put them any container any container you put them they will also hit that container as well so they collide with the wall of the container the bands will be not in different direction each other and uh, the wall of wall of the container so when you do that they will bounce off bounce off again when they bounce off they collide again just keep on doing that they keep on doing that until maybe something else happened to them yeah so if you want to summarize all this uh this uh arrangement of particles in all in the solid liquid and gases you can have this table of a summary of how the particles are arranged so let's look at this gas the assumed shape of volume uh, and volume of its uh, uh of their container the particle can move past one another and they are compressible yeah compressible because they are, they, ha they have enough spaces so you, you can they can if you push the container if the container container can be pushed you can pu if you try to compress the container the spaces within the particles of solid will be reducing so meaning that you are trying to compress them so they are compressible and they can flow easily i mentioned that already this you can just look at the summary the particles can move past each other they flow is because they can do that that's why they can flow and uh, they assume the shape that in, the, in in terms of a uh, liquid liquid particles particles they, it, 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 they as assume the shape of the part of the container where you put them so because the particles can move within just a little space that's why something like that can happen to the uh, to liquid liquid are not easily compressed you can compress liquid the way you can compress a uh, uh, gas although they can be compressed so why why are they um, why can we why are they able to be compressed is because uh, they have little space as well between their particles so if you compress them it means that space will be reduced more so it means if you try to compress gas you are reducing the, the space within the particles of uh, of gas then it will get to a point that that space that will be small to the extent that they will become liquid so if you compress it more compressing means you are increasing the pressure on them if you compress liquid further it means you compress to the extent that that little space 
uh, that is in between the particles will not be there any longer. Then the particle, the, 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 the liquid will become what? It becomes solid. It becomes solid. So, that is summary of that. So, uh, we'll meet in the next uh, objective.